Mad Dog, uh, I've got a question for you. you ha you've had three portions of your career, and I want to know which was the most enjoyable and which was the most fulfilling, because those might be different. But uh, doing, uh, creating sports radio in New York, uh, starting ownership of your own serious channel that now results in another three-year deal, or the present renaissance of being on First Take with more notoriety this late in your career nationally than you've ever had. Uh, which of those three was the most enjoyable? Which is the most fulfilling? I would say the number three. Um, you know, for, first off, it's current, so I'm more focused in on it. Uh, I probably didn't handle those 19 years with Mike as well as I could have, as far as the dynamic is concerned, the relationship, leaving. You know, I probably didn't do as good a job, you know, saying goodbye as I should have. Uh, the radio was hard when I started at Sirius, so I, I I got wrapped up in doing, again, those aforementioned five hours. I think now, and he's 64 years of age, uh, you know, making the adjustment to going on there every uh, once a week for a couple of hours and and sort of moving the needle. Um, still doing the radio and being relatively successful with that. I would say, and, you know, uh, just the overall last, you know, all the shows that you do and the fact that people have kind of discovered you this late in your life, uh, I, I'd have to say now, uh, you know, plus throwing high heat with the baseball, still doing that. Uh, I, I would say this aspect of it, I didn't really quite know what I was doing with the 19 years in this, in the uh, starting Mad Dog Radio, there was a lot of other people who had a lot more uh, success with it. You know, had a lot to do with it as much as I did. And plus, I was focused on the radio every day. Now I kind of can spread my wings a little bit, do two or three different scenarios. You know, seeing yourself written about in the Boston Globe, your boyhood paper. See yourself talked about on Dan Lebertard's show. Um, you know, having fun with Stephen A. Having you know a lot of the current athlete, so who is this guy? And then realize, you know what, he's better than I thought he was. I think today, the Mad About segments, which, you know, get some juice. I have to say this part of the career here, probably, it's more surprising, so that helps. But I would think that'd be a little more rewarding. Well, than you've, the other two. you've seen the industry change so much. You're almost responsible for how much sports debate television has become a thing. What is your perspective on everything happening between at first take and undisputed as you watch Stephen A. and Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp fight, you know, at the top of, of, of sports media? Well, I mean, you know, I try not to look too deeply into, you know, the reasons why sports debate has taken off. Uh, I know Mike and me, you know, from a two hour, from a five and a half hour scenario for 19 years kind of gave people the idea, you know, let's try this on TV. Let's fill the airtime. You know, we did it on Yes. So that kind of, you know, uh, you know, we did sports talk on TV that kind of gave people the idea. And, you know, Stephen A is a, you know, he's a huge celebrity. Um and, you know, he is omnipresent. He's all over the place. He's a huge figure. He can branch out into other sports, uh, other things. I don't do that per se. I'm going to stick with the sports. Uh, you know, ESPN is where you should be with this because that's where most people get their sports still from. Um, and, I, and I just go in there for the two hours uh, once a week and I try to have a little fun, make his job a little easier. So I try not to take it too seriously. And I think that, Danny, is the key with a guy like me. I think if you go in there after you've been doing this for so long and you sit there and you start taking yourself too seriously, you start thinking that you may be a little more important than you really are, that you're a little bit more indispensable with the, you know, when you're talking to people who are 30, 40 years younger, who are getting an idea who you are for the first time. Remember, I haven't been on FAN now for a long time. It's been 15, 16 years. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Um, so you, I, I think from that standpoint, I think that, uh, you know, I'm sort of a breath of fresh air in a lot of ways. And I, tr again, I try not to take it too seriously. I get up in the morning on the Wednesdays. I go in there. I make sure that everybody else gets a chance to shine. I know I got those 10 minutes at 1130 to do the madabouts. My wife kills me all the time for yelling at the camera, but they seem to like that. <laughs> I come up with things that are not uh, that are apolitical because the last thing you want to do is be in a situation where you get people ticked off in, in the wrong way. It's supposed to be fun, and that's how I try to approach it. And now I'll, I'll do it as long as the wave lasts. Danny, you and I both know, Stu Gotts knows, sooner or later the ride's going to end. So your miles are right it out as long as you can. And that's kind of my philosophy right now. At 64 years of age, 65, 
in October. How many people are still doing this? It's, you're not 65, Danny. How many people are still doing this at 65 years of age? Uh, not many, doggy. Listen, this was a great birthday gift. Uh, I appreciate you doing it. And I was thinking the entire time while you were talking there, how are we going to do better next year? How can we kind of do go above and beyond what we did this year for my birthday? And I was thinking, co-host with doggy, what do you think? How about we do that? Yes. How about we do that? I love you, dog. Your birthday is your birthday actually July 29th? It is July 29th, yes. All right. Why don't we try to figure out a way next year? Danny, you okay with it if of we have some guys? Of course. That would be delightful. Okay Very yes. respectful. That would yes. be great. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'll make a promise to you right now. Yes. How about if you and I host your birthday next year will be on a Tuesday, right? I now, think so. Yep. Again, I just looked holidays, it up. How you know that? Things could change. Say again, Stu Guts? Yes. You're right. Tuesday, yes. yes. Tuesday. Yeah. Why don't we plan? Now, it might be the trading deadline, which you can't stand anyway with oh, the baseball. Enough, I mean. But why don't we try to plan next year on a Tuesday, you come up and co-host the three hours with me on Sirius Mad Dog Radio. How about that? Done. Another trip. I thought it was going to be here. <laughs> I thought that that was going to be here. I didn't He's think that you guys again? were doing you know it there. I thought uh, I would. Danny, we have a studio at Siri down in Miami. How about if I go down there and do it? I, that well, that's what I thought. I yes. wanted to go up there yes. though. I mean, it's that's, hot down I, here, dog. I, I, I mean, I, I, there, that is a beautiful studio. I've yeah. seen that Conan O'Brien did some stuff out of there. Howard Stern does some stuff out of there. Uh, before you get out of here, real quick though, you say you're apolitical. I want to hear a politics show with Mad Dog, at least in part because of how he pronounces uh, the names of politicians. Barack Obama. Oh, I'm terrible with that. Oh, Barack God. Obama. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Barack Obama was a bad one. Barack what about Obama. this one? Which one's worse, Barack Obama or this one? Uh, Candelisa Rice. <laughs> yeah, that, the rice one is worse. You're funny, Danny. You're funny. The rice one is worse. The rice one is worse. Do you want to try her name here again or without us giving you a hint on how to pronounce it? Or does uh, that put you in a bad spot? Condalessa? How you pronounce it? It says Condi, doggy. That's in Spanish. I mean, I learned it from yeah, him. Condi. Condi. <laughs> Condi. Part of the yeah. committee. Uh, it's sports now. You don't want to try Kamala, do you? You're, are you scared of that one? Oh, no, okay? Kamala. Yeah, I got that wrong last week, too. I get Donald Trump pronounced right. Um, Kamala, Kamala Harris, yes. Uh, I actually did some politics last week. I did a guy, an historian for the um, Lyndon Johnson uh, Museum down there in... Uh, Austin, Texas, to compare those speeches with Johnson resigning in 68 with the nomination. So I try to dabble in it a little <laughs> bit. But again, as I said to you, Dan, this is a lesson for your little buddy right next to you there on his birthday. Stay in your lane. That's the key to longevity. <laughs> a lesson for me. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Dog, good seeing you. Thank you, sir. Good job, boys. It's always nice seeing you. Thank uh, you, doggy. Another happy See you, birthday. Uh, see you, buddy. Another and happy uh, birthday to him. I don't care. Good luck.